today on this special edition of McGuire's Car Crazy, we're taking you inside one of the great car guy events that burst on the scene in recent years. The San Marino Motor Classic, the successor event to the Los Angeles Concorde d'Elegance. It is a really massive celebration of this car hobby, featuring brass and nickel era cars, rare classics, and even hot rods. There's muscle cars over there, there's Shelby's, there's Ferraris over here. This is a stunning event with hundreds of incredible collector cars and thousands of car guys, including the ladies, of course, taking in the style, the elegance, and the passion that only car guys can create. If you're gonna do something, you do it right. <laughs> There's so much to see across the expanse of this lawn, so we better get started. <laughs> How you doing there? This is the fastest place on earth. We travel the world to talk with men and women who are passionate car guys to find out what makes people emotionally connected to their cars. <laughs> it's time to get to the heart of the car guy. There's the most outrageous cars I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> now this is car crazy. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another very special edition of McGuire's Car Crazy. Coming today from the San Marino Motor Classic in San Marino, California. This is my home turf. I mean, I grew up in Pasadena, and you can't even hardly figure out where the line is between Pasadena and San Marino. It's all like one big community. You know, my dad was born in Pasadena. I was born in Pasadena. They even dedicated a tunnel at the 50-yard line on the Roosevelt to my mom and dad, Malcolm and Mabel McGuire. So this is my home. We travel all over the world to bring you events, but today, we get to come home to our own backyard and bring you a world-class event. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. You will have so much fun with me as we walk through the show. So let's get started, all right? Let's go. It's hard to know where to begin with so many great cars and great people all on the same lawn. I mean, this place is huge. So let's start with the founder of the San Marino Motor Classic and my dear friend, Aaron Weiss. Congratulations, you're living large, man. Oh, thank you, but for an unpaid <laughs> volunteer, I'm just living off the land. How many years this year? This will be our fifth year. Fifth year. Now, for, for show organizers across the country that struggle to get their shows going, and after five years still aren't making any money, but we do it because we love it. You know, I hear that all the time. You made a lot of money your first year here. At the end of today, we'll probably have raised a million dollars for charity in the last five wow. years. Having people who are involved in the car hobby who can attract yeah. others yeah. is really important. So being able to pick up the phone and call yeah. various collectors and say, I need yeah. your car, and they say, yes, we'll do it for yeah. you, major league. Car guys yeah. creating car shows works, works the of, best. You want a lot of synergy, yeah. and you want to make everybody happy. You're putting on one of the great shows in America. I mean, the, the hardware that's on this field. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. One has to think of all the history that the cars in this massive lawn represent. The cars can only talk. Each one's the expression of genius from a master coach builder, or car designer, or restorer. One of the guys I most respect the entire car hobby is Jack Nethercutt. Jack, I love your heart. I love your passion. If you're gonna do something, you do it right. <laughs> And the Nethercut family has been doing it right for almost 60 years. Ever since Jack's father, J.B. Nethercut, began setting the standard for classic car restorations back in the 50s. It's a tradition passed down from father to son, intensifying the passion with each generation. I think you're at more shows. You're supporting the hobby more. Yeah, my dad didn't go to many, many shows. Yeah. He, he'd go to Pebble Beach, yeah. basically, but uh -huh. I mean, now we're in Amelia Island. You're all, all, all over, over the place. place. You yeah. really are. Yeah. And you always have these grand cars. The other cut cars have won Pebble six times. Six times. You need to have a standard that, that you say that's how good it can be if you really care and you really have passion and you really set that mark. We try Dude. anyway. Dude. We try, Dude. Mary. By the way, not a bad Hispano right here, huh? That's, yeah. It's not, not too it shabby. Works. This is such a beautiful car from every angle. It, it is a gorgeous car, and it's a very rare. I mean, the body style is very rare. But the lines of it are so pretty. They are, from every angle. Literally every car here at the San Marino Motor Classic is a gem. And when we come back, we'll take a look at a few more of these stunning examples of passion on wheels 
and hear some of the amazing stories of how they were brought back to life. A thousand miles through the European Alps, going over some 14, 15 uh, mountain passes. It's all happening right here, right after this break of McGuire's Car Crazy. Welcome back to McGuire's Car Crazy. The San Marino Motor Classic may only be five years old, but it's already earned its reputation throughout the car hobby as one of the premier Concours events in the country. And that acclaim is due in part to the compelling passion of those who see themselves as custodians of history. I'm here with my great car guy friends, Gerhard Schneer and Adrian and Benji. You call Benji your navigator? Is that what? Benji is, that is the a rubber? navigator, pilot, pilot, companion, and he's everything. <laughs> His name's even on the car behind us. This wonderful 38 Mercedes Touring. 1938 Mercedes uh, uh, 230S W153 Special Rally Roadster. But it's a rally car. This is Correct. a serious off-road rally. Serious off-road rally oh, car. Yes. So great fun. But one of so you have so many great cars. <laughs> Including the new Mercedes GTS. Well, let's tell you as you have that on the lawn here. Exactly. The GTS. Right. I hadn't even seen one before. Well. It's the first one I've seen. Okay. It is beautiful. What car. a car. Yeah. And right beside the GT, what's the car right beside it, Jay? Because the, the contrast between the old and the new. The three-wheeler <laughs> is a replica of the very first car that was ever built. Carl Benz is considered the inventor of the automobile. And this is yeah. the car that yeah. he built. He got a patent on it in 1886, and he drove it only once. Just like the Mercedes Museum in Germany, Mercedes Classic US holds a replica of the first automobile ever made. And Nate Lander gave me the chance to experience what it was like to ride in that very first car. Can I talk you into a ride? Yeah, absolutely. Is That's that the right? best way to see okay. how it works. Do we have to push it or what do we have to no, do No, we're gonna crank start it in the back here. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. She's cooking, she's cooking. Just like that. Just like that. Hey. Well, let's go take a look. So with only three quarters of a horsepower, it's not three exactly the horsepower. fastest car in the world, but wow. on a surface like this, we'll be able to go 10 or 15 miles Is an hour. Is that right? <laughs> I can't think of a better way to cruise a car show from this height and from this car of all cars. Whatever your hot button is for cars, they're on this field and the best, I gotta tell you, some wonderful vintage Ferraris behind me. But then we have the Piece de Resistance, the La Ferrari. I mean, there's so few of these in the world. And, and I said, it's got to be Ken Rose, because I knew Ken was getting his. And here we are, Ken. Congratulations. Thank you. Woo! I remember you text me uh, in the middle of the night, as I recall. They notified you, like, in the wee hours. It said, your car is built. It's finished. <laughs> My gracious, she's gorgeous. Well, I was first asked in December of 2012 if I'd like really? to have one of these cars. Really? And I got it in January really? of 15. Really? Two and a half so, years ago. Yeah. So uh, how's she drive? I mean, and you're a pretty big guy. You fit in there all right? How's it fit you? Well, they do <laughs> fit you for seats. Uh, do they? Because the seats are not movable in this car. And that was a way for them to lower the seat and get the whole center of gravity. It's a custom made La Ferrari for Ken Roche. You know, it's always mind boggling to be surrounded on all sides by world class cars, especially with Duesenbergs, America's best contribution to the classic era, with my buddy Randy Ema being the foremost expert on the Duesenberg. You're relaxed today. Oh, yeah, I'm just you, playing. You know, I'm cars just looking around. at cars. You're not judging? Not at all. Isn't this a great event? Wow, perfect. Isn't it something how Aaron has this ability? It is not easy. Yeah. Get this many different types of spectacular cars no, in no, one location. No, no, exactly. No, this is a, a, a perfect setting and a perfect collection of cars. Yeah. So. This is really a serious concord. This yes, is, oh, this yeah. is, I mean, this it's is... beautiful and relaxed to a lot of people, but there's serious judging going on here. To win here, yeah, says it's a, a lot. prestigious thing. I love going to great car shows because they're filled with the kinds of people and cars that bring out the best in all of us. And there's plenty of both here at the San Marino Motor Classic. 
You know, almost every car show, Concor, what have you, raise money for charity. There's a group called the Crossroads Car Shows that raise money for Teen Challenge International. Let me just tell you something about Teen Challenge. It's close to my heart. Teen Challenge is the oldest, largest of thousand centers around the world and the most successful program in the world for getting people off of life addiction problems, particularly drug abuse. 86% cure rate, okay? It's just absolutely amazing. So Crossroads Car Shows creates events for them and their cornerstone event is a, a castle. It's called the Benedict Castle. And the folks who put that on are right beside me over here. Let's go talk to them for a minute. A lot of show organizers here from other great events. The Benedict Castle Concour is one of the great newer type events here. Donovan and Nicole Northcote, the organizers of that. And wow. How you doing? You guys have knocked out of the ballpark two years in a row. Oh, man, it's incredible. It is unbelievable what you've accomplished. You're both car guys. Yes, we I don't are. know who's car crazier. We're a great know? team. We work miss together a lot. quite well. And uh, of course, Nicole, you've grown up with it. So these Aren't are your these, friends. These are our friends. A lot of people are stepping up saying they want to help you. We're not going to miss Aaron Weiss's show. He has been such a mentor, uh, just an incredible help to He's us. really helped you guys. He's been he? amazing. But what is it that you've done to say, we want to do something a little bit different? Here. Well, it's about all genres of the car hobby. I mean, it's the antiques, brass cars, up to the brand new P1 McLaren. Customs, the classics, the Japanese Dukes, classics. Japanese Dukes, classics. Dukes, bringing out the low riders. It's just amazing. I mean, I walk around and I'm kind of proud. I don't know why, <laughs> other than the fact that uh, Nicole is my daughter. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a little prejudiced, yes. but I just walked out and wow, yeah. they really pulled it off. One of the most interesting trends in car shows today is having a wider variety of cars on display without losing the DNA of the show itself. Ferraris over here, there's Woody's right behind us, and of course these fabulous Corvettes. Just take over the show, it's fine with me. <laughs> Don't go away, McGuire's Car Crazy will be right back. We're back with more of McGuire's Car Crazy. You know, just five years ago, Aaron Weiss set out to create a world-class concours in Southern California, and he's done it. Drawing the attention and the journalists from the national media. We're here with Mark Vaughn, one of the most respected automotive journalists in the business. I mean, that sincerely. And of course, you're the West Coast Regional Editor for Auto Week. And I mean, that keeps you on your toes. I mean, that magazine just keeps coming out and keeps coming out. Auto Week covers everything. <laughs> it uh, does. You know, I was just at the Monaco Grand Prix. Last night, I sat up all night watching Le Mans. This morning, I'm here at this beautiful, beautiful park. More than just a beautiful park, a beautiful park displaying the pageantry of breathtaking cars. I heard it might have been Aaron Weiss, <laughs> who might have jokingly said, yeah. this is Pebble South. Yeah. And I, I think yeah, that's that's yeah. true. I mean, you have the Classic Car Club of America, so you have all these beautiful Duesenbergs and Packards and Lincolns that yeah. you would see in Pebble Beach. But on top of that, there's there's muscle cars over there, there's Shelbys, there's Ferraris over here, there's Woodies right behind us, and of course, these fabulous Corvettes. Just take over the show, it's fine with me. <laughs> well, thank you, you're describing the show. It is amazing. And we, we have been talking about how the diversity of the cars, it's always nice to have that in it. Yeah, I, it's uh, it's something for everybody. The organizers of most prestigious Concor events are typically very narrow in their focus for good reasons. But hey, this is Southern California, and the relaxed atmosphere of the San Marino Motor Classic easily allows the inclusion of muscle cars, hot rods, and a host of other high-interest cars. Always love hanging out with my bro, Bruce Meyer. Bruce, uh, it's only like your 491st time on Car Crazy, I think. You, you know? know what? And I've loved every minute. There's no way been on Car Crazy more than Bruce. But you're the champion for hot rodders. How, how many years did you campaign before Lauren tried and find a call and said, OK, Bruce, we'll put some hot rods on the lot of Pebble? That well, was a I lot of years. I 10 years of begging, not yeah. campaigning, <laughs> because they would have nothing to do with this yeah, low-life group of stuff. hot it rodders. Is. Talk about hot rods in the field here today. These are the nice cars around here. We've got the Ray Brown. Yeah. Roadster, which departed from black primer and black to that beautiful Buick green. We've got the Knee Camp Roadster, which won the first Grand National yeah. Roadster yeah. show. And, and both of these are, were owned by Bob Peterson and are now part of our permanent mm -hmm. collection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've got the Aluma Coupe, that there. beautiful yellow car. Yeah. Boyd did that. And that is also part of our permanent collection. And then you got one right behind us here. Well, it's there's a, one a dime. More. Was it yeah. a dime or a quarter? Oh, no, uh, it's, it's the nickel coupe. <laughs> That's right. This is, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. This yeah. is the nickel car because all the bright work is nickel. Yeah. 
I go back 20 years and you never ever find a hot rod on the lawn at a Concorde. And these cars so deserve to be here. Oh, yeah. And at Amelia Island and at St. John's or wherever, hot rods. Yeah. Isn't it great? I mean, you started that, man. Well, you know what? You, I you're think responsible I for that. make it legitimate. But what it's really all about are the people. Yeah. And you have done such yeah. a great job yeah. of, is, fe um, of, of, of featuring well. the people of the hobby. So the two of us are pioneers. I'll, we we I'll, are. I'll go along with the hot We've rod thing, but you're the people We've... guy. Bruce is right, of course. All the beautiful cars on the planet would be meaningless without the amazing people who love on them and each other in this incredible community we call the car hobby, making us all better people with better friends. No matter where we go, if Gary Wales is there, he has the most popular cars. Always the People's Choice Award, right? Pretty much. Gary Wells and his Beastie, La Bestiote. Thank you. Number Thank you. what? How many do we have? How many is this This one is now? number six. Is it really? Really number six? Where do you find these? They all find me. They, yeah, know? they all find me. Do people call you and say, I found one for you? This That's... one is pretty interesting, Barry. Uh, two old firemen had heard about this old derelict sitting out in the woods in Sacramento. So they went out in the woods. They spent half a day, and finally they found it stuck in trees growing through it. They cut down 21 trees that were growing through it and around it. And when they got it out, he said, oh, we got to take that, put it on a trail, brought it back. And the wife said, you're not bringing that. <laughs> home. And they said, we better call that crazy man Wales in LA. He'll buy it. Okay. You're right, I did. Yeah, your so. reputation precedes yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's the challenge of every great car show. So many different types of cars to be judged. Indeed, the judges have a daunting task ahead of them. Jerry Rosendog is a fixture in the car hobby, particularly in Southern California. You are now your chief judge here. Right. Uh, to be chief judge at this event is a, is a lofty position. This, yeah. this show has great credibility. That goes back to the judging. Oh, I was a very young lawyer in my early 30s, and Phil Hill called me up and asked me to join him at Pebble Beach, and that was in the early 70s. So in terms of judging years at Pebble Beach, I'm senior in terms of years. So it's, Are you really? Yeah, it's 43 or 4. Is that right? 43 years judging at Pebble. Yeah. Woof. You've seen You've seen the cars, baby. A lot of cars. <laughs> Talk about the field here today. I mean, I look at it, I'm just going, my gracious, but through your eyes, I mean, you've seen it all. Well, there's a field of about 300 cars. There's probably 125 field judges judging these cars in groups of three and four, usually. Yeah. yeah. The hard part of every car show is the judging and the awards. The rest can go pretty easily. And you look at the people that are here, the significance of the cars and the collectors that are here today that come back year after year is a great tribute to you. It really is, saying, you. You know, as you say, no complaints. Coming up, those who take home the trophies from the San Marino Motor Classic will take their rightful place amongst the upper echelon of the car hobby. This show has not been around that many years, and yet they've made it into an absolute world-class show. We'll be back with the winners right after this break. Welcome back to McGuire's Car Crazy. We spent the day at the San Marino Motor Classic in San Marino, California, enjoying the ambiance, the cars, and the people of the SoCal car guy scene. As the day winds down and we near the official award ceremony, I caught up with two of the best announcers in the car hobby, Ed Justice and Dave Coons, and my next door neighbor, Marv Landon, the organizer of the Pasadena Concorso Ferrari. So a lot of Ferraris here. Yeah, a lot of Ferraris here. Oh, okay, yeah. just, and you know, so you don't judge classics with Ferraris. They have two best of show awards. We got them here. We have one for uh, just, I guess we can see over the camera, one for pre-war. Right? And then post-war. And then post-war. And the war we're there talking about is post-World War II. Don't That's sort of when we mention a war. It's, it's really fantastic. And you get to see everything up close and personal, particularly, oh, yeah. you know, through your eyes. What do you think of this event? Well, you know what's, what's really nice is the fact that this show has not been around that many years, and yet they've made it into an absolute world-class show, and yeah. everyone just yeah. talks about going to this, because yeah. did you go to the San Marino Motor Classic? Yeah, Wasn't right. it great? Yeah. You know, the key is the three guys that are involved in this, Aaron Weiss, uh, Paul Colony and Ben Ryling mm -hmm. are car guys. Yeah. They've been to a million of these things. They make it happen. Well, you gotta have the cars, you gotta have the car people, yeah. and you gotta have a location. They've scored on all those. Anyway, we're just getting ready to start the awards. You yeah. guys got a lot of work coming up yet. Yeah, I don't yeah we're looking forward to it. But that's the fun part. I and mean, we have fun. And the fun part is just about to begin. <laughs> Thank 
Best in show honors were taken home by a pair of classic car legends. In the pre-war category, Jack Nethercutt with the Nethercutt Museum's exquisite 1913 Mercedes-Benz earned the judges' favor. While for post-war, the trophy went to Don Williams of the famous Black Hawk Automotive Museum. The always passionate Brian Murphy accepted the award. Well, we brought a 1950 Ferrari 195S, won a 27 built, three by touring. We actually just purchased the car a month ago, so it's the first time that we've shown it anywhere. Getting here this morning, watching all the cars come in, yeah, I was really, I was impressed with the lineup that they have. There's wonderful cars, pre-war cars, post-war cars, got a little bit of everything. I'm glad we, you know, made the trip down. It was definitely worth it. Beautiful day, great cars, and like I said, it was a success. Well, it's been an eventful day for all of us with the magnitude of this event, the assemblage of spectacular cars, and bestowing best of show honors. But before we go, let's circle back to the man behind the event. Okay, we've caught up with the very tired Aaron Weiss. Baby, you gotta be dragging. Oh God, I'm on, I'm on fumes, baby. I bet you are, I bet you it's are. You would be one busy guy. Well, the awards, I mean, all the cars, and we're about two minutes from, from this being chaotic here. With It'll be like up. locusts Lo running across locusts the grass. <laughs> but before that happens, I saw you to come and grab you just for a minute and say, hey, you did it, baby. Done. Another year. What a great day. Oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's saying it was the best. Everything went really smoothly. Yeah. And judging went. There's been no threats on my life. Yeah, and wow. things are good. Wow, so wow. I think everybody's happy. The crowd loved the, the winners. The yeah. best of show winners, everything. Very popular. Great choices. Just great fun. Thank you for this show. Thank you for everything you do for all the other shows in Southern California and beyond. I mean, you're amazing. You well, really are. We'll see you up at Pebble Beach. Thank you. Absolutely. Isn't he not the best? I tell you what, what a great day. I mean, we've seen so many of the greatest cars on the planet. I mean, you look at these cars, what you put together. This, this was really special. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and we'll see all of you next week.